Hi, in this problem we have a sequence and we're asked to determine whether it converges or diverges. So this one is not tough. Um, if you know how to do it, um, there is a trick. So we'll start by doing the following. We can take a sub n and we need to rewrite it in a way that will allow us to take the limit. Right now, if you look at this, as n goes to infinity, n here goes to infinity, and 1 over n goes to 0. So this piece here approaches the sine of 0, which is 0. So this piece approaches 0. So we have some type of like infinity times 0 situation. So in order to fight that, what we'll do is we're going to write it like this. Sine of 1 over n divided by, and then we're going to write it like this, 1 over n, and then parentheses. And if you think for a moment, when you take sine of 1 over n and you divide it by 1 over n, you really end up taking sine of 1 over n and multiplying by the reciprocal of 1 over n, which is n over 1, right? So it ends up being the same thing. You can just put the n in the front. We end up with this. And so you might be wondering, why do this? Well, now when you take the limit, what's going to happen is you're going to have a 0 over 0 scenario. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule. Now you might be saying, well, you can't apply L'Hopital's rule to sequences. This is true, but you can apply it to functions. So if this converges as a function of x, then it's certainly going to converge as a sequence, right? Because if you can show that this is true for all x, real values of x, it's certainly going to be true for all values uh, of n. So pretend for a moment that n is a real number, and let's take the limit and apply L'Hopital's rule. So we'll let n approach infinity, and we have the sine of 1 over n over 1 over n. And L'Hopital's rule says that whenever you have uh, 0 over 0, that's one of what's called an indeterminate form, you simply take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of sine is cosine, but we do have an inside function. So it's the derivative of the outside, so cosine, evaluated at the inside, you leave it untouched, times the derivative of 1 over n. And this is negative 1 over n squared. That's what the derivative of 1 over n is. I'll go ahead and write it down here as well. And if you're not comfortable with that derivative, it's OK. Um, you can just go to the side and work it out. So it's really 1 over n to the 1. And then you can bring it upstairs, and it makes the exponent negative. Then when you differentiate this, you bring down the negative 1, and you subtract 1. And that's the same thing as negative 1 over n squared. At some point, you get really tired of doing this, and you end up memorizing this derivative. I remember the moment in my life that I memorized this derivative. That's, that's how often it comes up. Boom, these cancel. So you have a limit as n goes to infinity, of, and then we're left with cosine of 1 over n. And now the limit is a little more clear, right? 1 over n approaches 0 as n approaches infinity. So this approaches the cosine of 0. Let's drop the limit sign so it's equal to 1. So because the limit is equal to a real number, in this case we'll say that the sequence actually converges. So the answer is converges. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.